Buster, are you ready to paint? Let's do it. All right, guys, it is ready. It's been drying for a few days. I wanted to make sure it was nice and dry before we started messing around with it. Uh, it says you can start messing around with it within 24 hours, but within four to five days, it should be completely cured. So it's been a few days and I wanna get this thing down and start putting it together. So let's do it, I'm excited. Let's get it down and start putting it together.
Let's get this transmission installed. Ooh, that looks sweet. This one's fighting me. Whew. That one went in. For some reason this one's not catching. <clears throat> Should be right there. All right, these were fighting me a little bit. I just loosened everything up so I had a little bit of flexibility and just kept messing with them and finally lined them up, got them in. Oh, 
we'll torque these later. All right, let's work on getting the passenger side torsion bar and spring plate on, and we'll see if we can get a correct angle on it. And the bushings. This is the outer, and this is the inner spline. The outer has marks on it. I marked it when I took it out. I'm just gonna remark these so they're a little easier to see. You're supposed to make a mark out here, on here, and here, so you have like a notch that you could line back up to factory, but we're just gonna remeasure it with the angle level and try to get as close as we can to where it needs to be. Move them up a little bit. They don't really turn much, they just kind of as far as I understand, they just kind of twist a little bit. We're going to have to pull this in and out of here uh, a couple times. We can get that inner spline lubed up a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how this works. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm asking a bunch of different people and watching videos and reading the book. And uh, basically there's an inner spline and an outer spline and each notch you move changes the degree, the angle of the suspension. I have these marks which line up here and I know the uh, general, um, position that it should be in and it's something like this that's about where it needs to be as far as the angle of the spring plate um, and then it goes up over the stop and that gives you the tension that you need there's some tricks to it I don't really know but um, we're going to try to figure it out and book calls for talcum powder. You can't really find talcum powder anymore, but baby powder is apparently the same stuff. So you just coat it with baby powder and that's supposed to help it move uh, independently of the spring plate. I guess you can use um, silicone paste as well. So we're just going to go with this and one is the inner and one is the outer and I think this one is the inner. It really won't let you put it in the wrong way. So like that, see that just slid right in there. Yep. This goes on the outer section here, which we can put on in a minute. We don't have to put that on yet. I'm just going to put it inside the cover here. 
and it slides down in there. See, you can't really put it on backwards. Oof, baby power. All right, let's see if we can, what we need to do is freaking baby powder on everything now. We gotta pull this back out and get these to line up properly. Almost have to pull this all the way back out and then get these where they need to go on here. Should be like that. They're all lined up. Pretty good. Yep. Okay, so that push should put us in the general uh, area that we need to be in. And then that new rubber seal in there makes it hard to get this on. Let's see if we can get this on. Basically, just trying to get this spring plate to slide into that new bushing. And it came out of the, came out of the thing there. I think that's where we need to be. Someone was saying the bottom of the spring plate is halfway between that hole, that bolt hole. I think it was Mike F. Let's see, uh, dang it. Then it went all the way in and I lost my position. It's kind of a pain, guys. <laughs> it's a real pain. Now we're way off. Start over. I need to put grease on these. All right, so right here in the book, it says setting the spring plates the specified spring plate setting angle with the torsion bar is free of tension. That's hanging below the stop, I would imagine. I'm not positive, but it's 17 degrees. So we're at 24 right now. So we need to adjust that a little bit. All right, so let's see what we can do to adjust that. Turning the torsion bar by one inner end spine changes the angle degrees nine degrees. Okay, so one de one turn is gonna get us where we need to be. We need to be around 17, all right? So let's try that. All right, let's see if we can get this closer to 17. If we pull this back out, And let's see, can we just, do we have to pull the whole thing out? <clears throat> Probably. All right, so. So it looks like we need to go up. So let's try that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is not easy, guys.
I'd like to get to that 17. I'm going to keep messing with it. All right, guys, I'm keeping it at 16.5 right now. Um, 16.3. I'm going to get them up in, up on the stop and see where we're at. I think that's going to make a difference. As long as both sides are close to 17. So I got this tool. It's a tension relief tool. This is supposed to make it easier. It definitely has a lot of tension on it. Are we above the stop? Yes, we're above the stop. Put the cover on, lather it up with some baby powder. All right, so this little Harbor Freight clamp saved the day. I've used these for a few things. All right. What a freaking. I also had these just in case, but we didn't need them. So you can see now it's tight. But you can see here, see, they could make these longer. They could come out here a little bit. I don't know why they can't make these a little longer, guys. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe you guys know, let me know. And uh, see how the spring plate here? So you use this tool to get it up above this, what they call a stop. And this plate should be all the way in there now. And take this off. Now. It'll be interesting to see what the degrees is. I've got 11.4 on this side and I've got 9.4 on this side. So I'm gonna take this side back off and see if I can get it closer, see if I can get it to match and at least try to have them both the same. And I'll let you guys reply below I will always, I can always come back in, take them back off and redo it. I don't mind, I'm learning how to do this. So guys, what should the angle of the spring plate be when it's resting on the stop? Is there a desired angle? All right, let's get this one off. Let's see if we can get this a little closer to where it needs to be. All right, guys, we're at 18.5 on this side. And uh, the book says between 17 and 18. I think this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. The trick is getting the other side at 18.5. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna button this one back up and try to get the other side to match. Okay guys, I got this side at 11.4, resting on the stop, bolted down.
think that'll do for now. 5.4. Hey, we got a match. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm thinking that's pretty good. I'm going to run with it for now. If you guys know more, if you know, if you've done this before and, and, and I'm way off, just let me know. All right. Let's see if we can get this to work. <laughs> ah. These are the original brackets I painted, cleaned up and painted. We got some new hardware here. Let's see if we can get this to work. Something like that, I would imagine. I just noticed this notch right here, and there's a little one here. Just gonna put these on here loosely for now. I gotta turn the fan on, guys. Cluster's open out. All right, I think we got this on right. And there's that little notch I was talking about. There's a little notch on the spring plate. You can't really see it now, but it's right there. So I'm assuming they made that notch there and there to try to get the, uh, a, the axle placement just right. Because there is some movement here, you can move this just a little bit. But we're gonna have to mess with all that once the tires are on, once the body's on. We'll have to do the alignment and get all that stuff figured out. It's gonna be tricky, but we'll do it. And we might have to take these spring plates back out and readjust them just a notch or two. Um, it's not fun, but we'll get it. We'll figure it out and hopefully we'll get good at it. I'm gonna get this other side on. Let's knock it out. All right, so there's the notch on the axle tube. And there's a notch right here. Now, the only thing is, <laughs> these axle tubes are not from this car. They should be the same year, but I ended up having to get a different transmission because they swapped the transmission out. They installed the wrong, they installed an old transmission. So. This tube is actually from a different car, so I don't know if that notch and that notch, if it even makes a difference, but it doesn't matter. See how this opening here has room to move back and forth, and this one does too. The bottom doesn't. So I'm assuming once the body's on and everything, you get the tires on, you have it on the ground, and then that's when you do your alignment because you have to align the back axles and the front axles it all has there's lots of alignments that have to be done um so yeah let's get these bolts on the bolt's not long enough there's tension here put the bracket on and then squeeze it there we go ha <laughs> ha All right, guys, there it is. It's like brand new. 
Wow, so cool. The front beam completely restored. The rear transmission, axles, torsion bar, spring plates. Everything's been cleaned, painted, restored, rebuilt. It's like new or better than new. <laughs> uh, we still got to do the steering box. It shouldn't be a big deal. Just change a couple seals and a gasket. Fill it up with some new oil. Put some paint on it. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool. It's looking really cool. I wanted to get the brakes on it. I wanted to get everything on it, uh, you know, but there's a lot more to do. So I'll make another video putting the brakes on the rear disc brake kit, front disc brakes, the steering box, the pedal cluster, all the cables and all that stuff. We'll make a whole nother video out of that. And it'll re you know, as far as we can get, and then we'll just keep making uh, progress. The engine is being built. Darren is building the engine. So it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really, really nice. So <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do something because I might put the body back on the chassis, drive it for a few weeks and work out all the kinks, you know, the alignment and all that stuff and just have some fun with it. And then bring the body back here, take it back off put it on a rotisserie and completely restore the body. That might be something that we do in the future and maybe not that far from now. So I'm super excited. Stay tuned. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one. Cold beer. Cold beer. All right, I need one of those.